Good morning, welcome back to my channel. You guessed it by the title today. We're having a festive day. I just curl my hair, it's a little bit overly curled. I need it to drop a little bit. It's like minus five outside, so it's gonna drop and go a bit funny when I get outside. Anyway, my tree is finished and looking really festive. Today I'm excited because Emily and I are gonna do some final bits of Christmas shopping, gonna take you to Harrods, maybe go to like the really nice Zara in Nights, but just have a look around all of the gorgeous festive areas, and yeah. First things first though, I'm actually waiting for her to come around so we're going to do our present swap. I cannot wait. I'm going to film that. I might do that as a separate video so let me know if you want to see that. So these are birthday presents for me and then Matt's stocking. I got these personalised stockings made. It's getting so full. I'm not mad about it. I'm actually really excited about that. Mine is not full <laughs> but Matt's is really really full. I just think these are really cute. I got them personalised. I got them for the entire family. I've actually already broken these lights, the batteries have come out, but I think the tree is looking absolutely beautiful. So ready for Emily Ann and I to film. I love these pyjamas, they were so affordable, but they're so silky and comfy. And I'm going to light this candle, which I actually had at my early birthday party. It's such a divine candle. So that candle that I just lit is actually from Beauty Pie. When I lit it at my birthday party, my fake early birthday party, everyone was like, oh my goodness, that smells incredible. But they're really, really hard to get hold of, but would definitely recommend if you can get your hands on one. Speaking of Beauty Pie, if you don't know what Beauty Pie is, I have been using them for years. I actually, sorry that this brush is dirty, but I have been using it and loving it every single day since I got my hands on it. I have their skincare, I have their makeup brushes. I just love this brand so Beauty much. Beauty Pie is is a luxury skincare and well-being brand. They don't just do skincare. Their skincare is amazing, but it really is top to toe products, body products, hair masks, makeup brushes. They even do things like silk pillowcases, silk hairbands, which are amazing. I actually have the silk pillowcases on my bed as we speak. I have so many incredible products from them, from head to toe, like this for example. I hit pan on this recently, and this is my second one. It is incredible. This has got encapsulated retinol and hyaluronic acid, and they use really great active ingredients. The quality of the products is phenomenal. Basically, Beauty Pie is a membership that gives you access to luxury skincare and wellbeing products with lab direct prices. That means that they cut out the middleman. But because they don't have the store costs, the expensive packaging, you, the consumer, get to save the money. But they still use the best labs. Beauty Pie products are manufactured in some of the best labs in the world. And their products aren't dupes. Their products are started from scratch with scientists, so you are getting really, really great products. I have a lot of favorite products from Beauty Pie, but this one is another sensational number. This is a Plantastic Apricot Butter Cleansing Balm with cold pressed rosehip oil and vitamin E. The texture speaks for itself. It's utterly divine. The thing that made me fall in love with Beauty Pie all those years ago is the fact that they use the highest quality manufacturers and great ingredients in their products. I mean, you can tell. You only need to pick up a Beauty Pie product, smell it, feel the texture, and you're just like, yep, yeah, it's amazing. Like this, for example, the Super Healthy Skin Deluxe Body Moisture Cream. This is incredible. It's gonna just make your skin hydrated for 24 hours and it would also make a great gift as well. Being a Beauty Pie member means that you get to save money, you get to pay for what the product actually costs without any crazy markup. So if you want some really good high quality products with great prices that I genuinely use and love, every single day. If you would like to try a Beauty Pie membership, then I will leave my promo code on screen, but it means that you get to save £10 off your annual membership, which is really great. So I'm really excited for you guys to try Beauty Pie. Let me know what you try. I cannot wait to see. I would absolutely be getting all the makeup brushes, more of the body moisturizer, obviously the cleansing balm, and some retinol products. Okay, so... A Zara order actually just came. I'm definitely, definitely going to show you this on this vlog. But I need to get changed because Emily is coming around and we are going to film our Christmas present unboxing. And then you guys can see that on YouTube separately. And then we're going to do some shopping. I think we're going to do Harrods today and maybe Bond Street. So I can't wait to take it with me. But I actually need to go and get changed out of my pyjamas. I'm here with all these cute gifts for you. Ready to give you them. And you're having food. And one got me medicine. I'll be fine. I ran to the pharmacy. She's having medicine. I told her to nap. I told her to rest. Shopping can wait. I'm getting there. We're going to be hyped this afternoon. <laughs> it's all good. What are you eating? Uh, a bacon and egg. Oh, it looks and ketchup. smells amazing. And a croissant. And I'm sure I feel better after this. This is like my ideal breakfast. Dodge so. food, yeah. Yeah, yeah.
Oh, look how nice this looks. That's Savills. That is the most beautiful wreath ever. Chelsea does Christmas lights very, very well indeed. A little winter wonderland at Sloan Square. How sweet is that? You can meet Father Christmas. I know. The middle's a bit there. <gasps> Because I'm in the middle of making bread. I made her leave the house because firstly we have an amazing lunch, but also I was like, can you come into the central earlier so we can go to Ralph's to get a coffee? So we're gonna go to Ralph Lauren and get a coffee. Yes, I know it's a tourist trap. I know they have a Ralph's at Vista now with no line, and the line here is huge. But I've well, never there's no line at Vista, no but I have never got a Ralph's coffee in London and they've ever. Got the cute Christmas thing. and I've got cute Christmas cups. So we are gonna go and join the line and get one, and then look at the beautiful Christmas lights in London before we head. Over to lunch. I'm actually not in a bad mood. I'll be dramatic. She was being dramatic. She just takes her sourdough very seriously. I hope that's sourdough for me. Yeah, I'm bringing it on Friday. Oh, Saturday. Yeah, it's an art. Okay. It's an art form. So let we'll show you our outfits. Cute outfits. This is Oh, okay. We're back. Here's the outfit. <laughs> like quick run, quick run. Hi, how are you? Which one? Yeah, can we get one? Do we have to wait in the line to get it? They are so cute. This is the kind of thing like my grandma would have had at her house. It's so cute. We got our coffees. We also fell in love with the stuff inside the store. They have like Ralph Lauren coffee mugs. So where are we going now? Let's walk by a Dior and then we have lunch. Annabelle's this year, it's like a carousel. Oh my gosh, they just make it so good every year. Look at this tree. How amazing, it's just outside the Connaught. Time. I only want them because Meghan Markle wore them. successful filming done it is now time to take you guys into harrods because we're excited can so I go see? to harrods can you see what oh yeah can you see the bow i love that i had a nude when i was summer and i was obsessed with it but you have longer hair so it looks better but you know how you. you know how lydia has her hair bands yeah i think i'm going to be bow girl i feel like bow lydia has bows as well All the happy smiles and the wishes. I've got the bag I want. The tote. I love it. I don't like the white one, so I, but I love that one. No, I'm not into the green. I would really like this one. Definitely. I like the check one on the Christmas list. Look at that bag. Insane. I've never seen Fendi jewelry before. It's really nice, actually. I love these sparkly bits. Yeah. Do you all do friendship bracelets? I saw them in here when I came with Tara. They were so nice. I literally want all of the sparkly stuff in Prada. It's so I nice. I kind of love if everything. If I had this money, I would definitely buy one of these for Christmas to wear. That would buy sparkly one. This is new. I love it. But look, they brought out a mini version of my bag. How cute is that? I love it. It's just a bit puffy. I want something that's a bit more structured. Yeah. These are just a bit puffy. I want structure. But I absolutely love it. So in your face. This is the birthday bag of choice. This one or this one, but I just can't decide on colour. I saw this colour online, but not in the croc print. It was just like green, like this colour, and it was stunning. I obviously have this and I absolutely love it. Like this colour. Or do I get a black one? Okay, Emily prefers black, and I don't have a black one, so choices. To these ones, to be honest, they're a bit weird. What do you think? 
do like these ones, but I don't like silver hardware. I'd have to get gold hardware. These are quite nice ones. Emily doesn't like this. I do. It's the leather version. I love looking at new Gucci bags. This one is stunning. I've not seen that one online. Look at all the different colors. Classic Gucci. I love Gucci now. It's gone more classic. Like, look at these. I do like these ones. They're so cute. This is my least favorite Gucci bag. I think it's the silver hardware. I like it in that print, though. We saw this one online and I thought, oh, I was very tempted. It's very like equestrian and classic Gucci, but then that's very me as well. I like this color, the pink and the black. It needs to be one or the other. These are lovely, though. I love Dior so much at the moment. I low-key really want a saddle. I didn't like them when they first came out, but now I really like them. I think it's because I like the CD at the side. It looks really nice with outfits. Any Dior bags that I like this print, but you have to pay extra for this, I believe. Remember when we went and tried rings on in here? It was such a fun experience. They have the Dior section and it's all personalised because they have the cafe, the gingerbread cafe. I love this. That's stunning. I want all of this. I do really want a book tote. Yeah, it's nice. It needed to be all black or all pink. Also, these would be great bridal shoes. Love. This would be a great bridal bag as well. They have an exhibition on, so they have a lot of gorgeous Dior in here at the moment. Like gingerbread themed. How stunning. So cute. Look at these little cute eyes. Warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever gingerbread bags. So this is the one that I've kind of told myself that I really want for my birthday. But Emily says no. I really like it. I mean I'd rather have the gingerbread version to be honest. This is my absolute dream makeup bag. Any of these. Stunning. Yeah, it's all bulgari. I like this. Imagine for your makeup. I love the Harrods Food Hall at Christmas. It's just amazing. Love. I just love it in here. We can go see Lada. Oh yeah, absolutely. Can we try? Yes, and should we go to Carco after? Ladera, my favourite chocolate ever. Like obsessed with it. I got Emily an advent calendar with loads of these inside it. Best one is this one. The caramel one. And they do them with Smarties in as well. This one's really, really good as well. I bet the coconut one's nice because I think it has coconut filling in it. I need to try that one. Gingerbread milk, how amazing. This is a literal work of Art. How stunning. I literally love Paddington bar. I was gonna say that doesn't look like Paddington, it's because it's the Harrods bar. Oh, these would be good gifts, mini gold bars, little money bags, nice stocking fillers. I met someone recently and he was from Australia and he was like, all my kid wants is a Harrods Red Bus. Cute gift. Oh, the rotisserie, Emily and I's absolute favourite place to get lunch or dinner. I just love the food hall in Harrods, it's a work of art. It's a really good Lebanese restaurant that they actually have upstairs in Harrods. You get everything to take away. Grab some stuff for dinner from here, yum. Going to this juice place and asking for a watermelon juice, they can just use anything that's on the front and make you basically any juice you want. London's answer to Air One. Just beautiful groceries laid out. I actually always order these for people online, but from Selfridges. I just think they make really good gifts for like hampers. Oh, I was saying, I really want a Harrods mince pie. And they have mini Harrods Christmas cakes and mini, mini Harrods pops. I might actually get some of these as gifts for people. Look at the minis. Look at the Christmas cakes. I always love buying Harrods teas and coffees as well. Such a great present. We're in Harrods, go here and ask for George because he puts the cutest thing on your coffee. Oh my gosh, look at this Christmas cake. That is a work of art. I had afternoon tea in Harrods not that long ago. You could actually buy your own to take away. Best part, the Harrods kind of build your own hamper section because you can just buy it all and then put it in a hamper. I love fig chutney so much. These are great gifts. Also, they usually go on sale a few days before Christmas. 
I'm not going to come back a few days before Christmas because I do usually go on sale. I've never tried a Panettone. Oh my gosh, did you rose gold just did not mix? How stunning. Festive fudge and brittle. These would be such great gifts for people. These are giving me like fun and amazing vibes. Here they are, the Harrods. I just love building people. Hampers, you know, it doesn't have to be a Harrods one. It can just have Harrods bits inside. I was just saying, I really want some mince pies. I'm gonna get some Harrods ones to take home for the family. You could always just get your own personalized hamper and then fill it with things that people love that are oh, a Harrods hamper. Mm. I love fairy cakes. Guys, I am home now. I have like a really, really chilly nose. Also, can we appreciate I'm trying to vlog more? I just counted and last week I uploaded four vlogs. That's a lot. I just thought like everyone's doing vlogmas and it's quite nice to vlog. Also, oh my gosh, so my hair. You'll have noticed in a recent vlog I said I was going to a Vader to get my hair done. And look, I now officially have blonde hair again. They said that the density is really good of my hair and I'm so happy I'll put a before and after video on the screen because I've been taking these vitamins and they genuinely changed my hair. I take a lot of vitamins and these have definitely changed my hair. And he like picked up my hair in the salon and he was like, no, like you have new hairs coming through. The density is good. So I'm really happy about that. Let me take all my stuff off so I can show you my new jumper, new hair, new jumper. Although I'm a bit disheveled because I just, oh, I just walked home from dinner. It, well, it was a lunch, but we ended up not getting sat down for like half an hour. So it ended up being more of a dinner. We didn't stop eating until like five-ish. Oh, there we go. Okay, I want to show you this. It's like a, it's like a jumper dress. Like it's big on me because I went for an oversized fit, but it's so warm and I'm so glad. But yeah, I keep seeing people on um, Instagram do this thing that's called like cold makeup. I'm cold. I have I'm cold makeup right now because it's so cold outside. But yes, new jumper, new hair. Lunch slash dinner was amazing. It's a new restaurant in London I wanted to try since it opened. It only opened a few weeks ago. I'm seeing it everywhere on TikTok. So I got to go with Emily and our friend. So that was really, really lovely to have a nice girly day. So I'm gonna leave today's vlog here and I will see you in the morning. Good afternoon. It was so nice to walk around Harrods, do some shopping. Because my birthday is coming up, I was really trying to decide which bag to get. And I didn't want to get told off for filming in there. So that's why I was just kind of trying to speak through it but basically I think I want the sunset bag the YSL one and I just can't decide between nude and black I saw one at Vista Village and it was suede and I've decided that I ruin everything not not on purpose I just like to use my products and items so I feel like leather is going to be a lot more future proof for me but then I put them both on and I was like I just can't decide I think my outfit was quite loud that day like I had a lot of layers and stuff on because it was just such a cold day so I maybe might need to go back with Matt with like a lighter outfit on and decide that I want the bag to go with everything so comment below let me know if you have any thoughts or feelings but I just can't decide I have some lovely nude bags so I'm like should I get the black bag but then I'm like I wouldn't use it as much as a nude because I just like my purchases to be like future proof so I did just get some bits from Zara which I thought I would try on because I think you're gonna like them so I'm gonna go and do a little try on haul for you then we have a really exciting dinner tonight someone that I have wanted to go and take Matt to for so long I went for lunch not that long ago and I know Matt's gonna be obsessed with it I also need to start putting some Christmas presents together for my family I got Matt's mum some stuff from Fortnum and Mason which I am so excited about my mum just loves a royal family, so I thought these would be really nice. Queen Anne tea bags, and this is her favourite tea ever, orange pico. On my birthday, I actually got her a hamper, so I thought it was nice to get like a reusable, lovely bag this time round. I got Matt's dad some Christmas elves from Fortnum, so I thought they were really nice to pick up. I'm really excited about this, kind of built my own little hamper for them. Worked on a lovely, lovely recipe over Christmas, so I'm definitely packing this to go home so that we can crack this open at Christmas. Mm. Okay, let's see what's inside here. I literally blend in with the Christmas tree because I'm so sparkly. This doesn't suit my like lack of boobs. I just had that on back to front, but I kind of liked it that way. So this is actually meant to be here. So it definitely sits a lot nicer on my boobs now. And it's just like really low back. I love a low back outfit. This is so sparkly, but like the nice kind of sparkle. And I'm not into purple, but I am actually into this kind of purple. What do you think? So Christina and I picked this up in Battersea the other day and we were like, oh my goodness, it's amazing. It's a little bit short on me, I'm not gonna lie, but, and I'm only around five foot two, five foot three, but it's definitely short. I don't know if this is meant to go with trousers. I'm sure it was sold as a dress, but we move. Love it, I'm really into dark colors this year. 
and I just feel like it gives a nice uniformed look and this is so nice again such nice sequin sequins can be like weird but this is a nice sequin number I think okay I think this is my favorite it's the kind of like man repelling dress that Matt would absolutely hate but I absolutely love it with the over exaggerated sleeves and the way that it hugs like the sweetheart little sweetheart neck sweetheart little front here I don't actually think it fits my boobs properly but how beautiful is it with the sleeves I just think that is such like a gorgeous LBD guys I'm not gonna lie this one does not fit if I take my arm off here <laughs> it literally does not fit it's the weirdest I'm gonna try it one minute, hold it. It's the weirdest fitting dress, so it's quite nice here. Although kind of Star Wars vibes, no? Like fancy dress. It should be nice, but it just does not zip up properly. So wouldn't recommend this one. Um, also, I do prefer gold to silver. Like I don't hate silver. I just think gold is a bit warmer, but I like the idea of this. It's also giving me kind of like Roman vibes. So this is another rogue one. Again, a little bit too short. I've really gone for like the sequin numbers here. Don't know how I feel about this one. Definitely think the first one I tried on was my favorite. Like it's nice and it's actually comfortable because it's kind of like bodycon and stretchy, but I don't know. It just feels a bit, it's not my favorite. I was really excited for this haul and I just don't think this is as nice as it was on the website. Okay, now we're talking. I was so influenced by this on Instagram. I just think it's really cute with the kind of sparkle. And again, it's silver sparkle, but I like it. And then the dress, like slimline, nice and silky, nice and comfy. This is definitely nicer. So the first one and this one are my favorites so far. I told you that I was going super sparkly. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this i wish i did this in gold and because it's a jumpsuit play suit it's just so comfortable i haven't actually got anything on underneath it it's a little bit sheer so i think i would probably pop a stick on bra on with it but i love this definitely my favorite piece from the haul it's like being in comfy pajamas but with sparkles on i mean look at me i am so sparkly i'm seeing these kind of boob tube sequin dresses everywhere and i have to say i am in love again is silver they didn't have gold but I really like this what do you guys think I think it just sits really nice and again it's comfortable and stretchy we need stretchy comfortable dresses but I still think it's flattering last but not least shock another sparkly number really really like this it feels kind of fluffy it feels really comfortable I feel like it's like velvet vibes but I really like this I feel like this would be so lovely for Christmas time and just so easy to wear because comfort is key. So that was my little Zara haul. I'm now gonna go do some work, organize the house, not in this outfit, and then I need to get ready for dinner tonight. So you know you're an adult when you get excited about this. I just got this gift that was like, have a brilliant Christmas from Ariel and Lenore, honestly. Matt and I fangirled when we saw this because we love the eucalyptus range, so very excited to have some more of these stocked up. So we're heading for dinner now. We're actually heading to, I think, my new favorite restaurant in London. Like, it is sensational. I went for a work lunch and now I'm taking Matt tonight. I'm wearing a nice dress under here, but I'm actually popping my new coat over the top. It's a little bit big for me, but it's so cold outside. I'm gonna walk there. So I'm gonna pop Uggs and this on and then change my heels when we get outside. I was just saying to Matt when we didn't live in London, we used to always come to this street. Such a beautiful one. By night, look at it. Oh, I love all of the Rolls Royces outside lined up. Stunning. I don't know how, but I managed to go to a Blaze class at the gym this morning. We got in so late last night. We had the most amazing night. I have to say, I think that is one of my 
absolute favorite restaurants in London. Like I say, I went there for a work lunch and I've wanted to take Matt ever since. And I'm so grateful that we were able to go last night. It was like a nice early birthday dinner. I was saying to Matt, this is the dream date night. Imagine being proposed to in there like with the big chandelier. It's kind of like New England style as in like American brasserie. It is just insane like the oysters were amazing everyone was in there with champagne and oysters and there's like a burlesque performance a cabaret it was amazing the food was sensational but we got home really late we had margaritas in a cozy bar after we saw the beautiful lights in london it was just really nice to have like a date night matt and i so i'm now cozy i'm gonna tidy up my house because it's a complete and utter mess I am going to leave this vlog here because I feel like this is a long vlog now, but I'll keep you up to date with which bag I decide to choose as my birthday Christmas present, which I treat myself to. Don't forget to use my Beauty Pie promo code because that is ready and up for you to use now. M sent me, it's on screen. It is definitely worth you using it. I am obsessed with the products. My friend was around yesterday and I was like, look how good these products are. She was like, are they actually good? I was like, yes they are. And I made her use like the body moisturizer and stuff. So I'll only recommend things that are genuinely good. So I'm really excited to have that code. But if you watched it this far, thank you so much. Comment with candy cane. Write candy cane in the comments if you made it this far because this is a long vlog and I appreciate you. I love you and I'm still rambling. So come say hi on Instagram at mshellx. Everything I mentioned will be linked in the description box. Let me know which Zara dress you liked and thank you so much for being here. See you next time.